When you think of a typical artist studio, you might think of paint and paintbrushes, but in the Fab Lab, we use equipment in the same way, like we would use another tool. So a Fab Lab is a space for experimentation and innovation using mostly digital technologies and equipment. It's sort of like a collaboration between the artist's hand and a machine to fulfill this idea, this artwork or design. So it's really the artist taking inspiration and sketches in material studies and translating those to a file that will then be input into a machine. The equipment in the lab can alter material in multiple ways. You can engrave or cut material. You can also draw using a machine or a piece of equipment. So there's a range of ways that can alter material and a range of materials that can be altered. Different materials require different processes. If you wanted to cut wood, you could bring it in and use the CNC cutter or the laser cutter. For metals, we have the plasma cutter um, and a water jet cutter. So there's really a range of materials that can be used in the lab with different equipment. And really that equipment is created for precision. So if we think about using a hand tool to cut through material, it might take much longer than it would to make a file and to send it to a machine to be made. There are usually like commercial or manufacturing applications for the equipment that we have in the Fab Lab. But what we do here at CVAT is really try to innovate with this equipment in an artistic way. As an artist myself, I'm really interested in the idea of taking a shape or a line and translating it in multiple materials and processes. So I can take the same sketch and put it on the long arm machine to be stitched and then also cut it on the laser cutter into a shape. So it really brings to life what was once just a linear shape into these different materials that can be applied in different ways and combined. My background as an artist is in fiber art. When we were weaving and we look at a weaving draft, it's all binary, zeros and ones are on and off. And it's the same sort of language that's translated to the laser cutters, to the CNC, to the plasma cutter. In the same way, the laser cutters and the CNC and the plasma read this language, this binary code, to translate the artist's idea into an end product. So there's really just one language of this digital process and just different ways to input them into the equipment. Within an art college, the Fab Lab can also serve as a point of interdisciplinary study, so students collaborating with one another to make interesting work or make work beyond their area of study to incorporate new materials or processes. Really interesting things can happen when the artist works with their hand and the digital fabrication equipment. So something could be made in part by the artist's hand and then also doing these other components digitally and translating them to the equipment. Students are constantly coming up with great ways to innovate with material and the equipment that we have in the lab. Translating flat, planar material into three-dimensional sculptures, using the 3D printers to print tools and hardware that they're using in their work or to make their work. The Fab Lab really serves as a connecting point for a lot of students to explore their ideas maybe beyond their area of study to incorporate new materials or processes.